short tutorial, I'm going to talk about using ClassLive Pro in your classes. And in this first session, I'm going to give you some examples that I've used in class, sort of like a, uh, a short introduction to Illuminate. And, and then I'm going to show you how, how powerful the software is in helping students learn. And that you can share your desktop, you can show them software, you can shoot video, and as well as, as uh, audio, and interact with your students. So Illuminate is what we call, uh, we call actually ClassLive Pro at National University. And Illuminate's been around for five or six years now. It's a very powerful tool, very well used. We're up to version 9.6 now in uh, National University. And how we utilize it is in our core shells. So this here we are in August of 2010. We've had an upgrade to our shells at National University. So here is my core shell for my NSG322 course, uh, statistics class that I taught in July. And of course, we have new tools up at the top now. So we have course administration and settings. I'll show you how to use some of these in a later session. But as an example of Class Live, I'm going to go show you an archive session to start with to show you what Class Live can do in your classroom. So to get there, we click on the Live tab. And this is the same tab that will bring us our chat sessions if you're using those as well. I've disabled them here because I don't use chat. I use Class Live Pro exclusively in this class. So here you can click on Lead Session or Join Session. This is where the students would click on for a Join Session. But to give you an example of what I'm doing, I'll go to Session Archive that I did the last week when we covered regression and correlation. So Glenn, you just click on the session date, then you click OK, and the session loads through Java. Again, this is version 9.6. So this loads up as an archive file. And this is very similar to how it starts when you start a new session, which I'll, I'll show you in another video. Okay, so in this archive session you can see what Class Live is all about. So what's nice is it gives you this chat area. So if you've been doing chat, this is the same thing. You can chat back and forth with your students. But on the left panel you see everyone who's participating and you can print these out as well. You can give people permissions to use a microphone or not. I generally turn these off so you see the little yellow thing means that I'm the only one speaking. And I'll go through those buttons with you in another session. But just to show you what we're doing, here I have already loaded my PowerPoint slides in and I'm running a PowerPoint presentation through the whiteboard and going over that with my students. So first I'll show you, I'll go to a time index just by moving the slider bar here to where I'm actually polling the students about what the R value means. So I'll go there. So now the students are going to go ahead and vote. And I can publish the results out. So what you see in this example is over here I've got my polling tools. So I'll show you how to use these in the future as well. But as I'm polling the students, I can publish those out to the class so they can see how other students are voting, who's voting for uh, what's, what's a leader in the, in the poll, for example. And I also know how the students are doing in comprehension. Again, I have the video where they're seeing me. And another example I can go quickly to to show you, I can actually share software as well. And here I'm showing them how to use Excel. 